Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky and I spotted a tiny little problem over here. Yes, apparently we were a little bit too eager to fill in this area with warehouses. And of course they are slightly underwater. So yeah, I'm going to remove them, I think. Um, yeah, what is this? This is a smelter and we have two lumber mills. So let's delete these buildings. Technically technically if we want to be technical uh warehouses are only 15 logs and the equivalent in platforms is a lot more than 15 logs uh so eh, i i don't really i mean we could use them but uh the problem is is they show their those symbols up top so it's kind of like eh, i don't really want to do that do i but anyway, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll we'll get this going. So let's see. How do we want to do the power then? I think we have now an issue with the power. Let's see. The power. Is, oh, it's going into this building. That's just fine then. Okay, that's actually perfect. I thought they were going into the warehouses and had to be transferred up that way, but it's not that way. So yay. Let me go ahead and add a lumber mill here. Lumber, lumber, and then we'll have our smelter on the side here. Oh my god, I have a lamp, my uh, ceiling lamp in my bedroom, and, or not bedroom, this is not bedroom, this is a studio. Uh, in my studio is blinking. I think the light bulb is finally dying. It's one of those like last 10 years kind of light bulbs. And it's been blinking for a few days now. But hopefully it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Now then, what do we have on priority in this city? Okay, we have the windmill, which is really important. I want to get that done pronto. Of course, this is also lacking gears, which is very unfortunate. Oh, and there's my light blinking again. Okay, everything else, however, looks pretty good. Pretty fine. Now, we know that this is not uh, watered. This uh, has an irrigation tower there. But this is going to be a massive forestry area. I'm really excited about this. We need to plant some more trees, looks like it. All right, maple. Let's go, maple. Let's go ahead and put cut it, or put a planting zone there just in case. Ah, yes, we do have the just in case happening. Good, good, good. Okay, happy days. So that's going to work nicely. I'm happy about that. Yay. So are we getting the things we want? That is a good question. Um, can I make uh, maple pastries? That's the other important thing that we want here. Let's see, do we have the maple syrup? I don't know about that one, do we? Maple, yeah, we do have, we do have. Okay, so is, are any of these not used? Looks like this one could be used for maple syrup. Maybe the adjacent one for maple pastries. That seems good. Uh, let's see, are there others that are empty? Yeah, we have one empty here and one empty over... Not there. That's wheat flour. What is this one holding? This is wheat. Lodges. Mm. Trying to figure out if we have bread somewhere here in this colony. I guess we must somewhere. They have 142 bread in... The bakery. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You know what though? They can just have it there, I think. I have never seen a stack size that big. I've always seen it like, you know, 60 or something. <laughs> but apparently they just kept baking and baking. Regardless, they're like storing it on the uh, on the rooftops or something. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, they can plant all the way there. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, maple. Let's go, let's go. Yay. Cool. Okay. Very nice. Happy days are here again. We're just going to go with that as our story. Uh, interestingly enough, we have no logs. I'm not sure how that is possible, but yes, we have no logs. Um, I think we were going to put two or three cutters over here. I think that we need to do that. Let's go ahead and just take these out on a pronto order. There we go. And that way we won't forget to put in the lumberjack flags, which we will have here. 
Thank you, beavers. All right, so those are going to be built there happily. I mean, we're happy at least. So here, I don't think we have anything planned. I think what we should do, though, is build some more uh, labor places. So like a builder's hut over here. And this looks like it could be a road going through. So I'm going to make it a road going through. And maybe we maybe we make a hauling post. I don't know if we have one or not. I'm not really sure. I guess I could look, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to be lazy and just build one anyway. Because we almost always need hauling posts and stuff. So rotate. There we go. Okay. Happy days. So, um, right. Now, the other thing that we could do for our beavers is make a monument. I would really like to do that, but the ones that we really need are the Flame of Progress. Um, uh, hmm. We have 1,800 stuffs. 1,900 stuffs. It's a wheat. Uh, hmm. Food is doing really well. Logs are also on the up and up, which is very nice. This city here, we have, let's see, 32 work, 52 workers, one vacancy. Okay, so last time I removed the roads from these, these lodges and I forgot that you could pause them. Uh, thanks to the person who mentioned that possibility because I completely forgot about it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause them. This one has a lot less beavers, so let's unpause this one. And we will reconnect these roads to these uh, houses now that I think we have the food situation and other things under control. I think it's time we can pause them or unpause them. Uh, was this one paused? I think it was. I'm going to pause that one as well. No beavers? Sorry. You cannot live there. We will decide later if we want to, yeah, let you live there. Okay. Anyway, uh, we have, let's see, four, one, two, three, and four water uh, pumps. That doesn't seem like enough. Really doesn't seem like enough. I don't know. So how are we doing underneath here? How's that going? Are we finished? Yep, we're finished. So we can definitely get this power shaft going. Yay. Okay, and then they're building this area, which is very nice. I'm very happy about that. We have a windmill, and lucky for us, there is absolutely zero wind today. Hooray! <laughs> it's so pitiful. It's like we finally get the thing built, and it's like, nope, not gonna happen. Sorry. Okay, how is our situation in this town here? We have seven vacancies. Um, so that means that we do need to build some more employment venues. Um, hmm. What I'm wondering is, I, I really would like to build more of these shallow farms, but really the, they're not really good shel shelves for these, like water shelves, uh, you know, like ledges underwater. Like here's one, maybe we could use that one. This one is also quite narrow around the entire thing. Oh, here's a big one. Oh my gosh, around the whole place. This is going to be probably Spatterdock Shallows uh, revisit, revisitation of the name there. Okay, so this is not functioning, probably because we need to build a new city center. And uh, yeah, there we go. We are doing well, I think. Some beavers are doing things and some like this area, I think is not covered by any planters. So that's never going to get planted. It's okay. We can leave the dark soil. I don't mind. Um, hmm. Kind of wondering if we should, uh, connect this road with this. I think we should, I think it's worth it. So let's unplant these crops from there to there. Oh, wait, if we do this one, two, three, that's one more staircase, but less one more tile of crops as well. I think that works better. Okay. So carousel is getting there except for the metal blocks part, which is not getting there at all. 
I think I would like to high prioritize this section here since the feels like the uh, the builders have finished doing most of the other stuff. As in, we got the water tank and we got the other thing over there. What is this here? This is a grill making grilled potatoes. I guess we need to prioritize the platform, which apparently we didn't do. Let's just do that. Oh my goodness. Why does it... Okay, that's fine. But yeah, it, it keeps on doing the adjacent structures, which I don't really get why that's a thing. I do not understand. One thing, though, is maybe... You know what? Let's pause this for just a moment. What I'm wondering is maybe it might be worth it to have the bottom floor as warehouses and then put these on the upper floor. I think that's probably a very, very, very good idea. Um, it's There we go. Out to there. I think that would be fine. Let's build them this way. Okay, and then road will go here. And this is also quite cheap um, as it goes, be just because we are, you know, making the cheaper warehouses versus the more expensive platforms, like if we were to put platforms here. So let's see. Storage. Small warehouse there. Hmm. But I think we're going to need more platforms, alas, and a lack. That is not ideal. But we could just do this and forgo the... Well, we don't really want to forgo the electrical connections underneath, I think. It would be useful to do this kind of thing. Let's see how much space we need. I think we need another thing here at the very least. Let's see, storage, small warehouse, here, and then here, and here, and then we have roads. So we'll, we're just moving this one step up right now. And I think we can also build an upper gallery up here. So let's see, we need to have our... Let's see, lumber mill goes here and there. And then we have our metal meal, mill, that are meal. It's not a meal. We're not eating meals here. No, no. <laughs> yeah, we need all of these warehouses, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it's okay, though. No worries. We'll, we'll get there. It's building is a slow process for us beavers. We just want to do all the things. So I think, though, one of the things that I would like to do is put in a staircase to connect the upper floor to the lower so if we do a this and then a maybe that, I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll make it a little bit of a shorter trip for them to get to the warehouses. All right, let's let this go now. And now I am going to set up the warehouses and make sure that we are nunning them all. I need to get the one underneath here. All right, beavers doing work though. They are, they're doing a lot of stuff right now, which is great. It is great. So let's check out here if there's anything that we need to change or modify. I think everything is fine. Um, these, uh, water things are probably going to flood, but last time I checked, uh, windmills were fine under one tile of water. I haven't checked them under more than one tile of water, but it would only flood to one tile. So let's try out one and see how it works. And if not, we build, we build higher. It's fine. I'm not worried. I wonder if anyone's making cattail crackers. Let's see, maple pastries, cat, yeah, these people are making cattail crackers. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay, how are we doing with our mud baths? Are they functional? I think so. Oh, that looks cozy. Look at that, all that mud. Is it slightly moving? It is slightly moving. That's cool. Nice. 
All right, so I guess mud bathing is an evening activity, perhaps? Fun mud bath. It's not very popular, apparently. At least not during the daytime. Apparently everybody's actually working. That's kind of great. Beavers working. Okay, so how are we doing here? We have 12 logs, which is not a lot. But this place should be exporting them. I think right now we have a dearth of uh, trees right now. And they're all just starting to grow. Let me plant some more. So, yay. I'll just plant kind of like to the limits here. Okay, it does seem like we have all of the rest of it covered. Oh, this is bad. Bird, bird. Uh, hmm. I'm going to do a thing here. Let's see. Let's remove. We could either do two platforms here. Or have them go up and down. Then up and up. Mm, I think two platforms is fine. Then the extra stairs won't really save them too much time. Or too many blocks of movement speed, I should say. I'm hoping the... Uh, Constructors can reach that. Let's see, is that within range? Yes, it is. Okay, lucky us. <laughs> lucky us. We are getting to the point where it's like, okay, that's a bit beyond our range now. But hopefully, let's see, we do have a forester working. Oh, it's Therion. Hey, Therion. Did you know that you're a lumberjack now? It's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good, good. So, <laughs> oh, alternatively, we could have done a down step here. That might actually be better. Yeah, it's only one tree. But yeah, Therion Dracos is our lumberjack. Cool. I didn't know you lived here. That's great. Hey. Okay. Enough messing with the poor beavers. They're like, KOS, what are you doing? You just had us delete those trees. Now you want us to plant them again? What is this? Help. Uh, okay, so I'm wondering, I'm thinking maybe we should unplant most of this. Uh, also... Farmer, can you get... Oh, it's only four tiles. Okay, it's okay, though. We are just fine. We can do this. We can plant our potatoes here. Thinking about unplanting part of this, like this amount, and make those potatoes instead, because we do have a grilled, grilled potato shack now that can make uh, grilled potatoes, which is a hooray moment. Let's see, you can only go there. What I should do is a... I should do a staircase here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We can... Let's delete this crop. We apologize, beavers, for the confusion. But yes, we need to unplant and delete that crop. Thank you very much. Yay. And this is going to be... A staircase... Looks like this may forever be the lonely wheat field, but I think it's worth it just for this one to have access to more of this side here. So let's make that a Han high priority. Let's see, there is a tiny shelf here of uh, of some spatter dockiness. Maybe we can maybe we can plant stuff in here. Hmm. All right, so we can. So we can take this and make the stairs, of course. Yay. Let's do an upgrade to that priority. I think we do this. I, I like this idea. This whole, like, uh, yeah, getting stuff going. All right, unplanting these guys. And unplanting is just fine right now. We don't really need other things, do we? Let's see. What we can do here, though, is another couple of things. I think what I'm going to do... Because we need this to exist, I'm going to delete this whole thing. Like that. Yes. And then instead, we're going to put in a wall of uh, happy things known as levees. Where are they? Here. Dams, levees. Right. Okay. But first, we have here two. 
There we go. And boom. Voila. This exists now. Hooray. Yes, I know I can connect them on the diagonal, but I choose not to. I think it looks better and they'll be able to walk from piece to piece this way. Otherwise, they would not. I think that's where we want to go. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, one more as well. Okay, that's fine. Just make sure we get all this out of the water. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not quite that high. Not needed. Not needed. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Just a little bit too quick there. Too quick with the click. The drought season here is a bit weird, I have to say. It's kind of like... Yeah, what exactly is going on here? So, yeah. Right, so now what we do have is we have a road already going here. But I think what I'm going to do is make a suspension bridge from there to there. Um, and alternatively, well, not alternatively, I guess that's probably the wrong word. Um, I would like to build out the uh, plant takey care of place thingy here ish oh that's not right mm -mm. uh i guess it's gonna have to go back one again Urgh. that is not ideal yeah we want to have a continuous road so maybe we can build some like housing out here as well to have like this nice little view of of stuff and things and all of that Let's see, aquatic farmhouse. Let's see, yeah, can't put it there unless we add a thing there, but we wouldn't want to do that. How is this? It would have to go there. No, still same, same issue either way. Um, this one can be deleted. And that needs a road. And we can save this for, you know, farmside living. Lovely, beautiful uh, sort of Provencal thing going on here. Now, the other thing that we need is we need to build a water dump to make sure that this is only one uh, one thingy in height. So we're going to build the stair down here, and then we need to have two blocks high. I guess levee is fine. Let's see, this is four and four. I think I'll just build the levee because logs are cheaper than trying to process it all into lumber or planks, whatever your proclivities may lead you to say. Uh, so let's see. Let's get a levy here. And water. Water dump. There we go. Okay, boom. So note that this thing right now is two and a half blocks deep. Oh, wow. We don't even want it to be that deep. No, 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 no. Whoopsies. We need another one. We only want one block deep. So you can see here, with a water dump, they will never go higher than the actual dump itself. So that will never flood uh, to a point where we have issues with crops. So here, though, we need to have this thing going on. Let's see. We want to build probably... Let's build these planky sites, too. There we go. But yeah, we need another staircase here. Levy and again go to the water dump thingy. There we go. Boom. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, this is going to be our aquatic lands of enjoyment and wonderfulness and all the things. So, here, what we can do, this might actually be the perfect spot to put in our staircases. So, we can put in a stair here. Um, and then we need two more down. So let's just add these, uh, dam blocks. 
or, well, well, hold on a second. Because we have to have artificial something, it might as well be on the artificial thing rather than on the plantable area. So technically, technically, let's get rid of this. I should have anticipated this. Yep, and do this, this, and this one is also going to be a staircase. Okay, very good. So now we can take the, um, maybe we take this one off as well. I'll just build these up as levees because we have much, many logs, many, many logs. Okay, there we go. And of course this one can actually be removed completely. We'll just have a little bit of pocket of water there. Um, doesn't need to be changed or removed as long as the water is encased and it is. They won't be able to plant down there, but it's okay. So now then what I'm gonna do is, hmm, this turned out looking really nice. I love how this looks. I don't, I don't like the other farms that we've done in the past where it's just like huge squares of all of them, you know, one and then the other. I think it looks much better when you uh, take time to hand farm this. So we're going to plant some crops here. So we have spatter dock and cattails. Let's do the cattails first. Uh, and then see, we're going to try to aim for roughly 50% coverage, but um, I'm not going to count the cells or squares. Just going to put stuff down. Just kind of like as if the beavers had found this naturally growing place of of wonderful food and they're just gonna come come and check it out and eat this food here um but it's naturally growing you know yeah i definitely have more spatter dock than cattails i think but it's okay if we if we're running short we can always go and get some more or change the ratio basically all right happy days are here again uh, potentially we might even add another aquatic farm somewhere else, but this seems like a good starting spot for now. So what do we have on priority in this colony? It looks like we're doing the windmill thing first. So what I'm thinking is let's build the first windmill and make sure that it does work underwater. That is kind of important, <laughs> just slightly. So let's see, power, let's get a large windmill right here. Uh, or we can get one, Let's see, where can we build one? We can build one there first, first, oh, let's build it on the corner. I'm going to go ahead and build these things on priority. I think those are all, yeah, do those exist? No, they don't exist. Whoops. Okay. Let's just build these things on priority, shall we? However, you know what? I'm not, I'm going to pause because this is, this is just annoying. If we, what we should do is build the walkway underneath. That's the whole point of having the walkway is that so that they can reach up and we don't have to build one square at a time like this. It's very silly for me to do that. So this is what we want. There we go. It is more lumber. I'm aware of the costs, but I don't care. It just doesn't matter because I want the convenience of being able to place things whenever and wherever I want. So here we go. So let's go ahead and unpause and then we will prioritize this section and test and see if indeed windmills still do work underwater or at least if the base is underwater because that, that's uh, something to be uh, concerned about for sure. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and power this or not power. Ha, huh, what am I saying? Goodness me. Okay, let's just get these on priority. Priority is what I'm thinking. And we'll have one prioritized above the other one. Uh, just because I don't want all the gears to be split apart. Are we actually getting gears? We should be, I guess, because we do have two uh, large water tanks. So that should be good. Now I am considering uh, building some other things here. Let's see. How high are these thingies? These are actually, ooh, they're below the rest of the colony. 
which is great because that means we could put a road through them and build on the other side here, potentially. All right, so I guess we'll get that done. Um, I think that this also is actually, this might be more important, these uh, structures here. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on high priority because I'd rather have that work than these things here. Um, I will put this one windmill on high, but that's only going to happen after the supporting structures are built. So that's not something that they are going to concern themselves with, really. Did they build this uh, staircase? Do I have a staircase? I did. I have one, but I haven't put it on high. So let's just put that on high and hope that some of the beavers build that eventually. There we go. Okay, this one wheat field will forever remain golden wheat because they can't harvest it. Alas, they cannot seem to like reach upward from the block below <laughs> to the side and kind of like, okay, yeah, let's harvest this. Let's go. Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the progress that's been made here in this colony. Is this not great? Oh my gosh. They're doing fabulously. I'm really proud of them. They're doing a great job. And they even built roofs. Oh my god, people have roofs. Happy days. We could put a funny, like, decoration on this roof here. We could put in a, um, like, a scarecrow. Wait, wasn't there... Somebody told me that there's a bell decoration or something. I don't think I know what that is. Hmm... If anyone knows what that is, do tell me, because I love bells. I'm very keen on bells. But I think... I don't think we, we actually have one. 50 logs, 10 planks. That's so expensive. And this one gives exactly the same benefit, so I don't really get that. Let's put this scarecrow on top there. I don't know if they can actually reach that. We might need to build a staircase for that so they can reach it. Uh, let's see, in this area, we have eight people unemployed. That sounds like enough to build another builder's hut. If they don't mind. Well, why should they mind? They're beavers. Of course they love building stuff. Let's see. Builder's hut. Put that maybe here. And then here, guess what we also need? I have forgotten in my haste to put in shrines. These poor beavers have no shrines. So I'm going to put in two shrines here. And hopefully they're going to be happy with that. But we're getting there. We are very getting there on all of this stuff. Are we prioritizing this stuff? We're not even prioritizing it. Wow, they're just building it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and prioritize it and just make sure that they can get stuff going. In the meantime, while these things are here, let's see, this one, I think they can store uh, planks here. And then in this one, maybe they store metal blocks. It should be M. M, there it is. Okay, great. So... In our... Oh, we don't even have a, uh, a trading post yet. That's surprising. Okay. I'm kind of thinking about building it up here. But this, this was going to be our farm, right? Yeah, it was going to be a farm. Okay. Let's uh, organize this area for farming. Because apparently we were going to do that once upon a time. And we never did. I think we were waiting for the trees to be cleared. I think that was the issue. Because there were lots of dead trees up here and we couldn't do much. So... I think what we can do here is build two things. We need to have our warehouse, of course, uh, with the farm on top. This area is so narrow. Oh my goodness. Huh. No, that doesn't work either. Hmm. That might work. It's going to be weird, but it would... No, not really. It wouldn't really work, would it? Nigh. Okay. 
It's okay. What we can do is put it here. We can have one over here. And let's put our farmhouse on top. Uh-huh. We could do a this thing. And then stairs here. That would work. Okay, that, that's working for me. Not bad. And then maybe here we do our water tower. Our irrigation tower, I should say. It's not really a water tower. Oh, it has to be on the soil. Of course it does. Yes. Okay. So irrigation tower can be here then, potentially. And then we need to change this thing. We need to change this into a platform. Huh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, no, that doesn't work. That just does not work. Okay. We need to figure this out. No, not that. This one. Maybe we do this. That might be better. And then we have the platform over here. Still uses these tiles, but eh, it's okay, I guess. Right? Now, in the meantime, um, if we want to take this road around, let's see. And maybe have another farmhouse here. Uh, let's see, that one is that side. If we do a warehouse here somehow, let's do, instead of this, it doesn't actually do anything for it. I mean, it has no benefit over a, a, um, a levy block. Not really. So here we can do a warehouse. There. Yar. Maybe. And then farmhouse here. But then we need some blocks here. I'm not sure if it's actually beneficial to have this warehouse. I think we take this out and we use the warehouses that we're already building in the other area because I think we've already trampled this terrain way too much. I think we want to keep this very small and kind of like that. Let's do, um, yes, let's do more blocks here. I think we have to do that so that we can get out to this side here. And then we're also going to need, so we have stairs going that way. We need stairs going down here. It's going to be disconnected, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we have things, we have stuff. We can also probably build more stairs like there. Well, there is fine, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And uh, what we do need to do, though, is chop those trees because they are in a tiny bit of the way. So I'm going to grab a lumberjack here and just have them chop these trees down. And so we're, we're going to be good to go. Yay! Okay, so we have two tree choppers here. I think we need another one for sure. So let's add another one here. Uh, we do have a tapper's shack and we have pine resin, which is nice. So I guess we make the pine, piney stuff. Oh my God, they're making their own planks. Hooray! Oh my gosh, this is thrilling. We have planks for the very first time. Whoa! We. The A is real. Now, this is the thing that we need uh, next is going to be the smelter. So that's pretty exciting. It is pretty darn exciting to get this building up here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, extend this one out so we can build two smelters. And I feel like it's, it's going to be cool to have both of them running because this is the only place that is providing or is going to provide metal blocks for the entire large colony. So we ne definitely need to get those going and working out. So let's see, you guys, you be top priority, please. How are we doing on housing here? 17 unemployed, all right. Hopefully we're gonna get more of those employed. Let's see, scavenger flag. Somebody said there was some kind of issue with the, oh no, they have, they have stairs right here. It's fine. Is it T? T, yeah. They can get down those stairs. Uh, they have them. 
So this one basically didn't, well, I guess they, they do have, I, let's see if they get anything. Cause before I think they were out of range, if I remember correctly, I don't know. All right. Here we are. We're getting stuff now. Let's see. I really want to see them get this thing done, but that's going to have to wait. I think we need to get many other things done beforehand. This builder's hut, however, could be on priority. They're missing just a few logs and that would give us more builders. Oh, you can even adjust the workers. How nice. Let's see. We have 16 in the whole colony five here. So time to open up another one of the lodges. So let's go ahead and unpause that one so that we can get a few more beavers ready to produce more beavers as per our, <laughs> our production cycle, right? <laughs> Yes, production cycle of beavers. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. Things are happening though here. This is pretty great. We do need this pathway, which has, which miraculously and weirdly has not been made. Oh, you know, it's not that miraculous because I don't have stairs. That would definitely help. Stairs would help this situation for sure. And let us make sure they have a path all the way as well. It looks like I am missing that. Okay, and then we want to put a path here to connect to our water farm and to this uh, water dump. It does look like this farm is working super well. I'm really happy about that. Okay, this area is also cleared for a path. So we want to make... Oh my god, are you serious? Ugh. Oh, it should be far enough down that maybe we can do a suspension bridge. Maybe. Yay, we can! Oh, is that not perfect? Urgh, that's good. I wonder if they can walk under this thing to plant over here. That, I don't know. We'll have to find out, I guess. But hopefully they can make it work. Uh, it does look like this area has gotten parched, which means that we need to organize our area for potatoes. Okay, so it goes here and missing a little notch there, which we don't really don't care about. We'll, in fact, use it, even though it will annoy people. We do not care about this. People's annoyance is their own fault. And I think that's one of the things as a YouTuber I don't really understand is when people complain about stuff. That's like, well, if you don't like it, that's your choice not to like it. You know, this has nothing to do with me. Um, it's, it's just such a strange idea. Very, I find it very odd. Okay, let's see. We can make some more wood workshops maybe. Uh, we haven't gotten this printing press yet going. Ah, yeah, because of this. Let's go ahead and open up these for construction. I feel like this area... What is going on with this area? Let's see. Do we have... Maybe they can't build any further. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're keeping on going, I guess. They still have a ways to go, for sure. Let's see. T... They, yeah, they need to go all the way around. I don't know if that's, I think this might have to go in another dif district, actually. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. They're working on it very slowly, but that's okay. It's the beaver way, I guess. And it's just fine. Okay, so these people have this. Let's go ahead and put in a, um, we shall put in a decorate, decorative, a decorative thingy thingy. Yeah, there we go. Decorations, proceed. All right, very good. Very nice. Now somebody said also there was something on level two, no pathway or something. This all has a path. This has a path. And that's it. There isn't any more that doesn't have a path. All right, no worries. But yeah, I find that idea very, very weird. Like, I'm supposed to change what I'm doing because of one person's opinion who I don't even know. Like, I don't even change my things because of friends' opinions unless I absolutely agree with it. And obviously I am doing my own thing and creating my own story and enjoying myself doing that. So. If you have things that you don't like, consider maybe liking them instead. It's a lot. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Uh, because it's a lot easier than bothering me about it. Like, yeah. Because believe me, you'll get an answer to that degree. 
to to that effect i should say not degree but effect to that effect okay now look at this we have evaporated most of the water which means we can actually move the uh scavenger flags down here and i think it's wise to do so uh, mostly because i'm not going to delete them because they do have metal in, the, in them but uh because it's just going to save us some space uh, when we have that this section clear, it might be possible to put one of the farms in here or maybe extend it somewhat. Um, I'm kind of iffy on like maybe I should have just extended the the uh, blocks this way to the left, but I didn't. I chose not to at the time. So what are we storing in here? Everything that we don't want, probably. Uh, I don't I didn't decide what this is going to be. Cattail roots. Okay. I didn't decide what we're doing with this area. Is this going to be wheat? I guess we can do wheat because we do have cattail. No, not wheat. Uh, mm, wheat is for maple pastries. Are we growing? I think we have some. Yeah, we do have maple syrup. Okay, so we can have maple. We can, I mean, we can have wheat. Let's see. Let's go ahead and plant some crops here as per this diagram. Wheat. All right. Uh, this is going to be interesting because a lot of this is not watered yet. So let's see. Wheat. So, oh, we can't get here either. Oh, dear. Okay, let's make a... I'll just put in... I guess we... Yeah, we should put in a levee there for walking. And... Plant crops, wheat. In all displays here. Yay. And up there. And over here. I'm going to clear this stuff out, the trees, because I don't know what I have here, really. These trees don't appear to be planted at all. So I'm going to clear them. They have had time. Okay, so let's find out if we can do wheat here. Surely we can. Yes, we can. Okay, so... You know what I might do, though? I might do sunflowers on one of these uh, areas. I think that might be nice. Let's just do sunflowers here. And up by the farmhouse. And this section here, maybe it can also be sunflowers. Like there. Okay, like that. That's That looks actually quite nice. Very happy about that. Oh, it looks like this area is non-functional. Okay, are these... Ah. We need these stairs to be put in so that lumberjack can get stuff done. And we also need somebody to work here. This is going to be a high priority job. Oh, and look at, there we go. However, it doesn't cover any of our sunflowers. No. Okay. All right. Water. Let's put this irrigation tower somewhere like this, maybe. Okay. I guess that's going to have to work. Okay, some things are being planted. Perfect. Okay, and now... This is the one I want on high, not the other one. Silly me. Okay. There we go. There we go, indeed. These haven't been made. Why is this not created? Hello? Yo, question mark. All right, this needs to have what? Scrap metal. It is, it has scrap metal. But why does it not have power? We need to investigate this power issue. Okay, so. No, excuse me. Okay, so power is going into this house which is shared with we these warehouses. Okay, so what we can do to spread power here is we need to connect these water thingies some way. Let's go ahead and go underneath. 
Uh, hmm. The easiest way is to connect us from here to here. However, I really don't want to block this path. So... Why can't we have vertical connections for power? <laughs> Help. Hmm. I get, okay, you know what? I'm just going to be easy. Let's be easy right now. Connect those two. And uh, if we need to extend the path, like to make more warehouses here, we can just do it. It'll be fine. We'll just find another way to do it. I can always put the power like on this level and then kind of sneak it up on the side or something. That is another possibility. Okay, so... This power uh, is not connected properly. Where? Why? Why? Hello? Why? Why is this not? Oh, it's not running. Ha! Huh, that's why. We found out why. Mm-hmm. All right. This is getting materials. Perfect. Looking good. Lumber mills ready to go almost. Except for the power situation, which is not ideal. Mm-hmm. All right, in the meantime, we can also go ahead and build uh, more levees here for more water wheel power. Of course, that is only going to work in non-drought seasons, which uh, we haven't had in a while. Hey, I'm not really sure how to approach this issue. Maybe I should build a connecting thing so that they can just walk on top. I guess that's the best way to do it right now. But this is not a hurry at all. This is not something that we need to worry about. Let's see. Water wheel. There we go. Uh, and then, of course, we can get in the opposite side stuff as well. And that is a one and a three. Oh no, it's a one and a two. Huh. What I should do is do something different. I should do completely different thing, which would be a lot easier to fix. I don't know why I didn't do it this way. Um, we're going to do, let's get rid of these. And these. Okay. And then we can put in a stairway here to be on the second floor of this thing. We can do this and then have a one row on top. Like this. And that way they can build from underneath. And they can also build these blocks, I think. I'm not sure if they can build all the way up, but we can certainly have a look. Okay. Now then, we need to get rid of this. Because this is interfering with this path here, which we can just do like this, extending our constructing range here a little bit, hopefully. All right, and then that means we have this. Okay, so at least it's somewhat working. Uh, that That's going to be a lot better. So metal blocks, how's it going? How's it going, folks? We have how many metal blocks now? One. We have one! Hooray! <laughs> Yes, we have one. Hooray. Uh, hmm. Now then, uh, one of the things that we need to build is an export station, which we do not have yet. Are these... Okay, let's just delete these since they have taken the stuff. And that means we can maybe build a thing maybe right here. I think it's a good spot for it. It would mess up our underwater gardens if we're supposed to extend those. I guess we could extend them this way, though, if we really wanted to. Um... Uh, that would work quite a bit. That would be a nice big farming area if we wanted to. But here, what we need is, I think this building is three pieces wide. Or five wide and three, four? Four long? Something like this? Is that correct? Let's check. Distribution post. Oh, it is perfect. Yay! Okay, let's build that there then. All right, and with that, I think we are going to finish uh, for this particular uh, episode. I had a great time uh, planning with the beavers with you. 
So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. Wait.